Hi, Lauren. How are you? Hi, Mike. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Good to see you. Thanks so much for making time for me. It's fine. It's been a long time since I last talked to you. <laughs> I saw you as well. It has been a long time. It's good yeah. to see you. Mm -hmm. um, so, tell us, what, what are you doing right now? What are you doing at the minute? Mm, for now, I'm working as a business analyst for Smart Metering Project for UK government. So, with a communication company, we deliver smart meters in your home, basically. So, we aim to deliver by 2020 every single smart meter in every household. So I'm helping that project as a business analyst, enhancing data reporting systems, and also looking at the terms and uh, data reporting metrics as well. Uh, learning also on the job, but as well as enhancing the reporting side. As okay. Well. Yeah. Very cool. And just how did you end up working in consulting in the first place? Um, I was graduating my law school and I was intrigued by technology that consulting company offered. So I thought even the law industry was disrupted by technology. So I thought rather than being disrupted, I want to be a disruptor. So instead of going into law firms straight away, I decided to go to technology consulting firms so that I can increase my knowledge and technology while working. Very cool. And I know it's been a little bit of time now, but if you cast your mind back, what did you find difficult about finding a job as a student? I was um, struggling with life, like life work balance in a way that I had to study, I had to work, I also had to apply for the job. So uh, having 24 hours a day, that it was the most difficult part. So having no uh, coach or tutor um, in the previous year, I ha I couldn't secure my job. So I had to decide to study one more year um, to be able to secure a job. Mm. And uh, how did we meet? So I met you through another company. And I got in contact by that through my uh, friend's recommendation. I met you as a coach, career coach, which was um, actually quite new to me. I didn't know there was a, such a thing as career coach because I did have one for, from my university, but uh, it was very limited. Um, so I wanted to have something more and I wanted to risk a bit more in my life to get something that I really want. So I went to the company that you were working for that time and then I met you there. Very cool and what was it like us working together? Um, refreshing. Um, I actually liked you because you were always driving forward but friendly because I think during that time I was very timid not being able to get a job and always quite worrying about my future but I needed somebody positive rather than just being strict. So I liked you in a way that you were always asking questions, whether it went well, if there's anything that you can help. I think that was the most helpful part because um, I couldn't easily open up to people, uh, but you did give me a trust uh, through the time that you do care. And then, yeah, and eventually you got, or well, you helped me get a job. So yeah, very great. cool. Yeah. Yeah, you were, I, I don't know if you were ever timid, but I think you were anxious. Yeah, I think most of students were anxious. I mean, you yeah. could see that easily, right? So Yeah, a real kind of like, you you were kind of like a real nervous bundle of energy. You were like, blah, like yeah. that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I was on the edge. I was, I, was, I was on the edge because I was using my mom's fund on my study. It was so expensive to sit in the UK, uh, having not c like come from good background. Uh, and then also many other things, living course in UK is not easy to just afford it if you are not rich. So was anxious. Um, so I was investing for my future. And then I think I was lucky to have met you, I think, at the right time.
Thank you. You're very kind. Um, <laughs> and just and just finally, what would you what would you say to anyone who's considering uh, working with Job Ready English or working with me? Um, I think they should first think about their goals, what they want to get by mm -hmm. having a coach, because I had a clear goal that I must get a job. There was nothing else. So I knew what I wanted from you. So I I constantly, I remember nagged answers from you. I constantly asked for your feedback and your input into, uh, into my work. So I knew what I wanted. So mm -hmm. I think anybody who considers having you as a coach should um, think about what do they want. Do they want a great career or great degree or they want to explore mm -hmm. education in the UK? What do they actually want uh, in their life? Also, what's their dream so mm -hmm. that they can interact with you uh, clearer, which helps you as well, I think, because without having clear goals, you don't know actually what you're how to help them I, i'm sure you met many other students who had no clear goals mm. they might just say oh i just want a job anywhere i just want to work anywhere yeah or sometimes some people weren't even motivated i was wondering well, like why you're even here so i think it would be great if they do uh, set up some goals and objectives from what they want from their life or what they want from having a coach or what they want to get out of it that would be very great Mm. Just to benefit both of future students or you, and yourself as well, I think. That's brilliant. Thanks so much, Lauren, and um, best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you for having okay. me. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Do, do, do.